Hello everyone, this is Funny. You are watching Funny Chess Info. Today I am going to talk about in radiography safety. In this session, I cover what is radiography, what are the risks and hazards associated with radiography, what are the radiation protection principles, and what are the equipments used to monitor the radiation. Industrial radiography is a non-destructive testing method to check for defectives, example cracks, lack of penetration. Porosity, inclusion, pinholes in pipes, pressure vessels, walls to ensure quality or durability in a metal products. With radiography, we get information inside the metal by just taking a picture of it without breaking it or spoiling it to evaluate the structural integrity or find out the hidden details of an assembled structure. Since this method uses ionizing radiation, it is important to ensure not only the quality of the product but also safety of the technicians and the general public as well as protection of the environment. Since the technique deals with a very large amounts of radiation during testing periods, improper practices could result the technician and the public being exposed to large dose of radiation in just a few seconds. Therefore, high degree of care and professionalism is required for radiography work. Moreover, the contamination from corroded or damaged sources can cause additional radiation hazard or radiography personnel. The radiography procedure for working activity must be developed such a way that only a minimum dose is received during practice. This is achieved through a proper design of radiography exposure installation, proper training of radiation workers, strict adherence to radiation safety rules, and proper selection and maintenance of the radiation sources. The industrial radiography devices are commonly called as cameras. They are either gamma cameras or x-ray cameras. Before going to talk about the safety of the radiography, let us have a look about radiation exposure risks. Overexposure to ionizing radiation is harmful as it may cause cell damage to the exposed persons. People are constantly exposed to certain amounts of radiation from natural and man-made sources. The intensity of the radiation hazard is decided by several factors such as activity, their physical form and activity, energy, radiation type, etc. The radiation hazards in industrial radiography are mainly caused by the external sources as X-rays, gamma rays and can irradiate organs deep inside the body. Therefore, radiation hazard evaluation is necessary in order to avoid alarming levels of exposure. So, let us have a look about radiation protection and dose limitations. The International Committee of Radiation Protection ICRP has framed a set of guidelines for arriving at dose limitation. Dose received during radiation work should be follow ALARA principle as low as reasonably achievable. The dose limit should not exceed prescribed limits. The annual dose limit should be designed in a such a way that it prevents detrimental effects and limits possibilities of effects. The three major principles to assist with the maintaining doses as low as reasonably achievable are time, distance and shielding. The principles of radiation protection includes time, a shorter time spent close to the source, the lower radiation dose that will be received. Limiting the time of radiation exposure will reduce the radiation dose, which means less time spent near the source, less radiation received. Next one, distance. The intensity of the radiation falls off sharply as a person moves further away from the radioactive source. Increase the distance between the person and radiation source will reduce the exposure, which means greater the distance from the source, less the radiation received. And the next one, shielding. The thicker and protective material placed between the person and the source the less amount of radiation a person will receive. Lead or lead equivalent shields for X-ray and gamma rays is the effective way to reduce radiation exposure. 
There are various types of shieldings used in reduction of radiation exposure including lead aprons, lead glasses, lead barriers etc. When working with radiation areas it is important to use shielding whenever possible which means behind the shielding from the source less radiation will be received. And other safety practices to reduce the internal radiation exposure. Practice good hygiene and housekeeping habits effectively. Moderate the internal radiation hazards present by the radio radionuclides. By eliminating the presence of food drink in areas where radioactive metals are used or stored and controlling hand to mouth habits, the risk of internal radiation exposure is reduced. Next one control of contamination. Labeling radioactive and potentially radioactive areas and items will help preventing the spread of contamination. It is important to control contamination with absorbent papers and spill trays and placing any contaminated items in a properly labeled waste containers. Next one airborne hazards using fume hoods and avoid dust, aerosols or volatile gas production can reduce the potential for inhalation of radioactive substances. And last one use proper PPE. Using proper personal protective equipment such as disposer gloves, lab coats and glasses etc. will help to reduce the possibility of ingestion or absorption of the radioactive materials. Next one radiation safety monitoring equipments. Radiation monitoring equipments must be used to measure radiation doses. This equipment includes personal dosimeter, direct reading dosimeter, personal alarming dosimeters and radiation survey meters. Personal dosimeters are passive dosimeters equipment. The mostly common use thermoluminescent dosimeter T TLD or an optically stimulated luminescence dosimeter OSLD. Second one direct reading dosimeters. DRD is a real-time dosimeter that monitors the observed dose to the worker and is checked periodically by the radiographer during the shift to verify dose received during the radiography work. Next one, personal alarming dosimeter. The, a personal alarming dosimeter emits an audible warning signal when a dose rate alarm set point is exceeded. It is very important to understand how to protect the workers when working around high frequency radiation and be aware of ways to reduce the level of radiation exposure. This is about the radiography safety. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos and have a safe day.